Today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make chocolate covered strawberries. Chocolate covered strawberries are a delicious treat that's super easy to make. Today I'm going to show you everything you need to know so that you can make your own at home and answer any questions that you might have. First you need to rinse one pound of strawberries and I like to use medium sized strawberries because they're perfect for dipping and getting a bite. Then you want to take a paper towel and pat them dry. Strawberries need to be super dry to dip in chocolate. Water causes melted chocolate to seize, which is the last thing you want to happen when making chocolate covered strawberries. So make sure they're super dry. Then you'll need some chocolate for melting and I'm going to use both dark chocolate and white chocolate. And I like to use these little melting wafers because they melt so nicely. But you can also use chocolate chips. Now there are two great methods for melting chocolate and I'm going to show you both. First up is the microwave. Pour about three and a half ounces of chocolate into a microwave safe bowl. Then we're going to pop this into the microwave for about 30 seconds to start. After 30 seconds, we're going to remove it from the microwave and give it a quick stir with a rubber spatula. Then we'll pop it back in the microwave and microwave in 15 second intervals until the chocolate is smooth. Be sure to stir it in between each 15 second interval. Next, line a baking sheet with either parchment paper, wax paper, or a silicone baking mat. You don't want to use aluminum foil because your strawberries will stick to it. Then you're going to take your strawberry that's super dry and you'll want to gather it up by the green leaves. Then just gently dunk the strawberry into the chocolate and you can roll it around a little bit and then place it onto the tray. If you want to be fancy, you can sprinkle on some chopped white chocolate for contrast or even some nuts. Now, of course, you don't have to sprinkle on anything, but it sure does make it look pretty. Next, I'll show you how to melt chocolate using the double broiler method. First, you want to bring a small saucepan of water to a simmer, and you want to use a saucepan that you can have a bowl that sits on top like so. Now, you want to make sure that the bottom of the bowl doesn't touch the water inside the saucepan, so don't overfill your saucepan. Then you're going to place the bowl on top, and allow the steam from the simmering water to melt the chocolate in the bowl. And just like the dark chocolate, you'll dip your strawberry in. Then I'm gonna sprinkle on some of the chopped dark chocolate as well to make it pretty. Once all of your strawberries have been dipped, you'll wanna take your tray and slide it into the fridge. Let them chill in the fridge for two hours before serving. These are great for making ahead because they do need two hours to chill. You can make them up to 24 hours in advance. They'll stay good in the fridge for between 24 and 48 hours, but if you start to hit 48 hours, they might get a little bit soggy. Whatever you do, don't put them in the freezer or the strawberries will turn to mush. Now you should have everything you need to know to make your own chocolate covered strawberries at home. If I missed anything, simply leave your question in the comment section and I'll be sure to answer.